farmers in the area, he's going to leave a lot of sign. He's going to build a dam, he's going to cut a lot of trees, he's going to change the habitat substantially. Once you've located the beaver, then it's a matter of, of finding locations where you can set. And in this particular uh, small pond, uh, the best locations here to set were, were on the dam. Beaver is going to come along the dam and uh, pretty much on a daily basis and check that, or on a nightly basis, I, I should say, and check that dam. But what I'll do is, is on, a, on a dam scene like this, I'll move the vegetation back uh, so that you create an area where the beaver is going to have to swim in into the bait. And for bait, I'll use uh, uh, northern Minnesota. Beaver uh, really likes, I think his favorite food is, is popple or aspen, whatever you want to call it. Then is, uh, as far as the trap is concerned, my choice for beaver trapping is, is the Connie Bear, the 330. My preference in using the 330 is, is if I can get, get the trap completely underwater, put a dive stick over the top of it, the trap is pretty well hidden, makes the beaver swim through the trap, uh, and uh, he'll get in there. He'll, I put the trigger on the bottom rather than on the top, because uh, generally it ends up uh, resulting in, in less fur damage. And again, I said I'm a fur trapper, so I'm ultimately interested in the quality of the fur. Thank you.